Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. The DJI Air 3 finally released. We have jail time for flying over a naval shipyard. We have uh, drones over a military base. And then lastly, we have DJI import issues. Let's get to it. And first up, the DJI Air 3S was finally released this week. The new drone comes with a dual camera setup, including an upgraded 50 megapixel one inch wide angle camera, and then a 48 megapixel one over 1.3 inch zoom camera, uh, each of them having 14 stops of dynamic range, which is actually uh, quite impressive. Uh, The Air 3S supports both HLG and D-Log-M, 4K60 and 4K120, depending on the camera for video recording, and a new encoding algorithm Rhythm that will reduce the sizes by 30%, so they claimed, uh, compared to the Air 3, uh, with no image quality loss. Uh, new obstacle avoidance includes a forward-facing LiDAR unit, an infrared sensor for night ops, and then a new RTH a feature that creates and stores the map of the area as it flies. The Air 3S also comes with 42 gigs of internal storage, which is impressive, uh, 04 image transmissions, active track, uh, 360, local data mode, and finally 45 minutes of flight time. The local data mode is actually kind of a surprising thing because this was only reserved to uh, much larger drones in the pass, so it's good to see that uh, DJI is adding that to even smaller consumer drones now. Uh, We don't have one just yet, but we'll uh, release some content as soon as we do. Next up, a Chinese student was jailed for taking photos of a naval shipyard. Now, in January of this year, the student, uh, we actually reported on that, uh, the student Feng Run Shi flew over the Newport News uh, shipbuilding facility in Norfolk, Virginia. The while he was flying, the drone crashed into a tree, leading the police to uh, get involved. Uh, he fled the scene, if I remember correctly from the story, and uh, and then kind of got in trouble after that. Now, he was charged under a World War II Espionage Act and will spend six months in federal prison. Uh, there is no restricted airspace over the shipyard, so the flight may have been legal, but the uh, imagery capture was definitely not. Uh, we'll keep you updated on this one. It's definitely a very interesting story um, when we first heard about it the the student had not pleaded guilty at the time I think he eventually pleaded guilty which is what led to the six months of, uh, of prison all right third up uh, another kind of weird story a drone incursions over a military base uh, interestingly again in Norfolk Virginia uh, this was last December uh, for 17 straight days Uh, Large drones flew over Langley Air Force Base, just north of Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, The U.S. Air Force General, Mark Kelly, described the drones as 20 foot long. 20 foot long. This is not your typical uh, consumer drone here. Flying at more than 100 miles an hour, uh, between 3,000 and 4,000 feet. He stated that they were smaller quadcopters that accompanied the larger drone and that they flew from north to south following a very consistent route. Uh, Military and law enforcement tried to follow the drone and considered jamming or even shooting them down, but they were not allowed to do that uh, because the drones did not pose any imminent threat. Uh, The Air Force does not believe that this is uh, recreational or even commercial operators uh, in the U.S., but rather a foreign country. Uh, We'll keep you updated if we see more on this topic, but uh, yeah, this is not good. And last up, again, a story about DJI drones that are being stopped at Customs. Uh, DJI published information this week about U.S. Customs limiting DJI ability to import select drones in the U.S. Uh, This is not related to the current uh, proposed ban. Uh, This is not a ban in effect because all of the proposed ones have failed so far. But instead, it comes directly from uh, Customs and Border Protection. Now, CBP has cited the uh, Uyghur uh, Forced Labor Prevention Act uh, as the reason why DJI drones are being held. Uh, DJI stated that it is not and has never been on the uh, UFLPA entity list on the CBP website. This is the list that is related to the Uyghur uh, thing. So it's unclear exactly why these drones are suddenly being prevented from entering the United States. Now, this is financially impacting uh, American resellers across the country. So whoever is behind this, well, good job. You're hurting American businesses. Uh, We'll keep you updated uh, with more info on this when it becomes available, but I'm sure this is a story that we are going to continue uh, talking about over the next few weeks. And that's all for this week. Uh, We'll see you later in the community for a happy hour tonight if you're watching this on Friday. And uh, otherwise, we'll see you on Monday for the live Q&A.